Yay! Uh, well, um, yeah, this is the second day of the Rincon Convention in Ewijk, a small village um, in the middle of the Netherlands. And uh, yeah, uh, actually, I, uh, my expectations weren't that high, I have to admit, because it's a, it's a typical D&D convention, I think, a lot of cosplay as well. But actually, uh, surprisingly good, a lot of positive attention, sure, because I brought my little project along, but a lot of people are interested in working with foam, and um, yeah, um, it, it, it's small, it's cozy, and I have the, although it's a small space, I have room to actually uh, do some crafting, and it always attracts people, so having a great time, and uh, a few hours to go still, so uh, yeah. I keep on crafting. See you later, guys. Okay, hello guys, you're uh, Ruben as well. Uh, normally behind the camera, now in front of the camera with uh, our own Gerard Boom here behind me. Um, great con, great stuff for all you uh, fellow fantasy lovers. Uh, there's a lot of cosplay from Crit Critical Role, uh, the famous D&D campaign, as well of, as Baldur's Gate, uh, of Baldur's Gate 3, a new game. Great, uh, Gerard gets a lot of attention, it looks great, uh, having a lot of fun, and I think Gerard is having a lot of fun as well. It's, it's awesome to see everything, uh, one of the cons, finally, I'm here as well. Uh, this is pretty normal, I think, for uh, Gerard, he has lots and lots of these uh, cons, so uh, that's why I'm gonna ask him, Gerard, um, a con like this, yeah. um, what do you think about it? How do you prepare for this? How, how do you manage all this? Uh, like preparing for a convention, you mean? Yeah. Okay, well, well it depends on uh, what kind of convention. First of all, um, I need to know, um, um, is it a first time? Like this convention, this is the first time I am on the Rincon here um, at Ewijk, uh, the Netherlands. Uh, so I didn't have any experience, I didn't, didn't know what to expect. Um, but nevertheless, uh, when it comes to preparation, um, depending on the size um, of the convention, um, what 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 sh shall I bring? What should I bring? Um, uh, for instance, I, I already knew from the organization that I could display my ministerial project. Uh, they uh, offered me uh, extra tables uh, so I can uh, display it. Um, so that has to come along, and then I have to yeah have to try and figure out okay how much do I want to take from. Uh, to take with me uh, when it comes to all the products I have. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, bonus here is uh, I can, uh, I sleep at home, so uh, when I miss out on stuff, I can uh, bring it, uh, bring it back, uh, the, bring it with me the next day. But uh, mostly that's not a possibility, so I always bring too much, but I try to downsize the volume of all the products I, I bring along. But actually, three, four days before I really uh, have to travel to the location, I already start packing, packing the car, um, and then uh, at some point I have to make uh, a short or longer drive um, and try to be there as early as possible and start building up. And then it's always a surprise. Uh, 
what's the location, how large is the um, uh, is the area uh, I, 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 re I, I, I rent it, is it really there and how is it situated and can I get all my stuff um, displayed in an orderly manner. Um, well actually uh, every time is a big surprise. Uh, you might have already seen how I set how it's set up here. It's a bit uh, bit strange. This is my work area. Behind me is another area with with all kinds of uh, products, and in the middle it's split with uh, the the ministerial project. So um, uh, yeah. So uh, but that's also fun. I mean, going to a convention um, and, and and see where you where where you land. Um, this is. Um, Sunday, we have one, two, we have two hours to go, and then at some point people start. Uh, uh, how do you call it? Rep wrapping up uh, their business, and I always do it at a very slow pace. And the reason for this is that I'm almost always the last one who, who leaves a fair because then I can get my car very close to the uh, convention area, um, and I um, can quickly put it all in the car and. and, and can get back home. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. Just uh, Ruben, I hope it answers your question a little bit. Um, it's very stressful, uh, especially when you are doing a convention alone, like I do uh, today. Um, but it's also very, very inspiring. So many cool people, uh, questions and stuff uh, that really, uh, yeah, keeps me going. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Gerard.